Piper. Uplink squelch enabled. LMP connect to Pliscom audio CB. Off. Okay. Let's mode commander to B. And you get no miss in reception. Hello there. I read you loud and clear. I got a press O flag. Read you the same. I got an O2 flag and I got 80%. Okay. Then flag B and a press flag O. It's what I've got. You usually have an O2 to begin with, do you? Yep. Got an O2 press in the vent. O2 will go out in a minute. Okay. Yep. Okay. Is press O2 greater than 75? Yep. Okay. If I'm kind of did that. This mode, uh, I'll be, I'll go B and you go A. Are you here? Loud clear. Did you the same? If this mode, both of them AR. How do you read? Loud clear. Houston, uh, Intrepid, how do you read? Intrepid, we read you both loud and clear. Very good, very good. Okay, Houston, uh, LMP's O2 quantity is 80%. 80% copy. Same. And so is the C and CDR 80% also. Roger. Okay, we're opening the TV circuit breaker right now.
Look pretty darn good yourself. Out of 2,000 feet. Clipper Houston, we got good color now, looking good. Okay, Peter, I've got you at a third of a mile. 2,000. Okay. Looking good. I don't know. You look awful good yourself. Fifteen hundred feet, Dick. Okay. Intrepid Houston, uh, give us high bit rate, please. Okay, Houston. Coast in. Kind of in now. Huh? I'm watching this antenna. Okay, right now. Looking better all the time, Yankee. Yeah, keep going. I still have some film left. Five hundred feet. Check, left at it. Five forty. down to three feet a second. Is your tracker light on? No, oh, we'll turn it on for you. Uh, you don't have one. Okay, we'll 
turn it back on. Feet a second, Dick. 200 feet. Okay, the radar broke lock, Al. Will you uh, take care of it? I'll go to the checklist. Okay. How do you read me, Dick? I read you loud clear, Pete. You're looking awful good. I'm going to bring the docking target back with you. Say again? Houston, your goal for pyro arm and stand by to receive the skipper's gig. Aye, aye, aye sir. Okay, P, why don't you let me finish this roll, huh? Give you what? Oh, let me finish this 180 degree roll, okay? I don't understand what he's saying, Al. Do you understand? Houston, he's going to finish his roll maneuver now. I'm working on it. All right. That's a trip. Two roll, Dick, and I'll fly wing like that. Okay. Look at that S band antenna. His Well, get down so I can see you. I've lost. I'm losing you now. Don't 
don't have me? No, get down towards the moon. You're going below me. Below the spacecraft. Oh, I think he wants me to... I that's right. He's upside down. down. I'm sorry. When you say down, that's up to me, pal. I'm upside down. I said towards the moon. Sorry, I don't know where the moon is. I'm oh, it's you. right there. Now you see me? Okay, go. So I got you. Okay. Get me your money over. All right, let me stop my radio. Have you got it? I got it. Okay, you need to pull both rendezvous radar circuit breakers. Okay, wait just a second. Is the rendezvous radar in the right place? It's at 320, 0320, which is where it should be. Okay, got those out. Rendezvous radar breakers are pulled. Observer 44. Antrop at Houston, no. uh, if you get a chance, we would like that right. picture. We took it already, Houston. Thanks, Good show. Only taking with our movie camera, but... The Hey, he's got something sticking out around the top of him, too. We ought to take a look. Right up there? At the top, see? Wait a minute. I can up on my checklist here. All right? Uh, now we've got a good picture in true and living color. Right. Let's change windows with it, uh, Houston. Roger. We really get the impression that you're on a fast elevator. Uh, we see your view along the Terminator now, although we don't see quite as much coverage as we did before. Oh, here it comes in now. Well, it really looks like you're climbing out in burner. Yeah, we're already moving out, Don. It doesn't take very long to get some altitude out of that place. We've got you looking right at the terminator now, of course, and up, uh, up towards the north. I'm on the, the uh, 16, rolling the TV monitor for Pete. We're all kind of busy letting you see all this. It looks great. One of 
the things that uh, you probably think, probably noticed on your TV screen is uh, how rough it looks along the Terminator line. And this is, was our impression the first time we passed over it. We said to ourselves, there, now there's a real rough part of the moon. And the next day when the Terminator moved 14 degrees, we found that uh, the part that uh, was now in a higher sun looked fairly uh, smooth, or at least like the rest of the moon is as you see it. And the part that was now under the Terminator looked like the roughest. So I guess you get a real feel for the texture of the moon by looking at, at near the Terminator where you can see uh, the height of the uh, craters and the mountains and uh, all the many uh, features that are on the moon in uh, more relief. Roger. See, if you point the camera up there towards the north, you can show up a couple of long rills. Okay. Uh, Roger, that texture really comes through loud and clear on your picture. Can you identify any of the features for us, 12? Don, how long did you want us to keep up this uh, photography of the high latitudes? Three each 30 seconds. Stand by. Roger. 
You've probably got enough now. Anything you want to give us is fine, but don't uh, push yourself. We're happy with what we got now. Well, it's really amazing how much the size of the moon has changed just in the few minutes you've been on the air so far. I'm looking out my uh, small uh, hatch window to the right, and I can see the moon in the entire sphere right now. We have really moved out. We sure concur. Uh, I'm not half flight, though, Frank. That's right, I'll crank out. What, what's our altitude right now? What's our altitude rate? Can I know? Now, I think one of the things you can't see in your TV, though, is how the uh, temperature of the moon changes at the higher the sun angle and uh, over to the uh, extreme westerly region there, you can see how light it is and uh, how much more gray and stark it is by the Terminator, but we as Al said found it that way as the Terminator moved across. It all really looks the same. Roger, that shows up very clearly down here. Our off-board computer says we're 109 miles right now. Apollo 12, Houston, right now you're getting close to 1,100 nautical miles above the surface and you're coming up about 4,000 feet a second. Uh, okay, we're, we're reading our distance wrong. We're showing 1,098 miles. Very 